Tonight, a story about amazing, life-saving luck or something more divine than that. Local veterans spent four decades thinking about it and finally decided to put his dozen brushes with death into words. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Muto with tonight's Street Story. Even the author didn't believe the luck or fate behind how he survived. As the Vietnam War was erupting in 1966. Yeah, this is your third session, though. Michael Montigny was a teenager in West Warwick into baseball and hot rods. But he would soon be in Marine boot camp, face to face with a gunnery sergeant who let him know how dangerous it was to be a trigger behind a machine gun. He says the life expectancy of a machine gun is 15 minutes. And I just, you know, couldn't swallow. I said, oh my God. Before he found out just how accurate the sergeant's words were, Montigny was picked out of a crowd of Marines heading into Vietnam. I had no clue. By a Marine who was heading home. He fights his way through the 200 of us, comes up to me, and he takes the ring off his finger, and he goes like this. He puts it right in my face. And he says, here. He says, this brought me luck and protected me and he said it's going to protect you he didn't believe that and he didn't believe the chaplain who again picked him out of a crowd to give him these rosary beads saying again they would save his life i'm 19 years old i don't believe a ring or a set of rosary beads are going to save my life well my life was saved at least 12 times in vietnam and twice at camp lejeune there were last second discoveries of booby traps grenades that seemingly had his name on them did you think you were going to die i never thought i was coming home he sat on the stories for about 40 years, but was finally convinced to write a few good angels. It sold pretty well so far. They all stared at me with disgusted looks. And one impact it made was on the protesters. There were no banners or marching bands. Who are now the same age as Montigny. Welcome home. His words have changed their opinions. They would come up to me and apologize. And some of them had tears in their eyes and said, I had no idea. One other story involves his license plate, which was handed down from his big brother. Four ones, which he has heard from several people, is a sign for angels. Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.